Kasich says that in the midst of our discouragement, we find common sense by looking for it, by listening for it, and tapping into it. One more story from this book, because this book has just moved me so much. Kasich heard about a rabbi in Toronto, a volunteer hospital chaplain, who visited a, ho a Holocaust survivor on his hospital rounds. He knew the man was in the final hours of his life and that he was probably not going to be able to have a proper Jewish burial because he had no family and he had few friends that the rabbi knew about. The man's name was Eddie Ford. And he had once been a cantor at the largest synagogue in Europe. Now at 85, the only connection that he had to the remembrance of his faith were the melodies that accompanied the prayers he used to chant. You see, the custom is that for a Jewish burial uh, to be conducted, there has to be at least 10 adult Jewish people who join in the prayers. It's called a minion. It's a sign of community and togetherness before God. Because Mr. Ford was without family and I had only a few friends, this volunteer chaplain posted on Facebook when Mr. Ford died that, they, that he needed a minion for the graveside funeral of this Holocaust survivor. The day of the funeral, the temperature in Toronto was minus 14 degrees Celsius. If you know anything about Celsius, that's cold. And the wind chill factor was minus 23 degrees. And so as he drove to the cemetery, the rabbi wondered if there would be enough people to recite the necessary prayers. Arriving at the grave, the rabbi was greeted by cars parked all over the paths and the roads to the cemetery. And surrounding the grave was a crowd of over 200 big-hearted people who had braved the weather and upended their day to lend their voices in prayer and help bury a man they never knew. Kasich says the lesson here is that sometimes in life, all you have to do is show up. That's all. Just be there. Just go back to what you were doing. Did that volunteer rabbi chaplain change the climate? in that freezing cemetery in Toronto? You bet he did. And how about the people who bundled up and showed up to pay tribute to Billy Ford? Did they change the climate? They sure did. And what about little five-year-old Florence? Did she make a difference? She really did. And how about Elijah and Elisha? who took hold of Elijah's mantle and continued Elijah's prophetic work. Common sense said they showed up. I want to take a moment to remember another Elijah this morning, an Elijah who had the common sense to show up as a sterling example of integrity and honesty Representative Elijah Cummings was a man committed to justice, equality, excuse me, I gotta take this off, I'm losing it. Justice, equality, and who loved his family, served his country, honored his God with his loving, kind, caring service to others. No matter what side of the aisle you sit on, Representative Cummings stands as a beacon of righteousness and servanthood, and let us praise God that he served us. The gentle, still, small voice of God was heard long ago in a faraway land, and in Chicago, and in Toronto, and in Baltimore, and in Washington, D.C., and it's he heard here at Covenant Presbyterian Church in Fort Myers, and you know why? Because you showed up. You showed up. The voice of Jesus says, come to me, 
all you who labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn of me, for I am gentle and humble in heart, and you will find rest for your souls. For my yoke is easy and my burden is light. And so it is. Amen. Let us stand and say what